welcome back once again to Control. Last time we got a little bit more of a glimpse at the childhood memories we had of everything that happened in Ordinary. How everything seemed so almost whimsical and magical to us at the time. But now we find those memories almost corrupted by the recontextualization of seeing it in this clinical way. Now I'm of course going to push this button, which I kind of suspect leads back to, yeah, back to the turntable. But even though we're having all kinds of bombshell revelations dropped on us, I'm still gonna make Dylan wait a while longer because, look, I'm actually enjoying this game, and even though the How Long to Beat said about 11 hours, well, there is so much content as far as side stuff. And I really want to get to a lot more of it because this game is just so deep. Not just in terms of story, but in terms of the gameplay as well, which I'm really enjoying. So let's open that up. From those flashes I can tell, yep, our extra dimensional friend is still down there. Uh, however, I'm going back the other way because oh, maybe I shouldn't. I was going to say that uh, I noticed some documents in editing that I missed on the way back, so I want to go have a look at those. Does that penetrate? It does. <laughs> and it even gets you out of hiding. I'm actually starting in a bit of a dangerous predicament, because uh, the nearest control point is pretty far away, and I got utterly wrecked by all the stuff that spawned in when I tried to go back through the dump. Nobody is ever really safe here. Oh, there's just a whole bunch of these guys just constantly filing up these stairs. But here's one of the documents I was looking for. Hope it pauses the game while I'm reading them. Uh, Ordinary Supplement, AWE24. Details are largely based on interviews conducted with Dylan Faden and the obtained therapy sessions of Jesse Faden, as well as circumstantial evidence found at the Ordinary site. Note that accounts provided by all three sources contain conflicting data. For example, Dylan claims there were eight slides for the projector, while Jesse mentioned nine. Was there one that I maybe didn't tell him about? Uh, the Bureau found one intact slide, designation 36, and the burnt remains of six others. Unfortunately, these slides are too badly damaged to be used in the projector. Jesse Faden is believed to be the individual responsible for burning them. Note. Dr. Darling has ordered that the entirety of the ordinary town dump be brought to the Bureau for examination and analysis, with the hopes of finding additional slides or other altered materials. Due to the limited space in the investigation sector, this AWE will be investigated in containment. Well, he's nothing if not meticulous, which I'm sure makes him aggravating to the people doing the work, but I'm sure it makes him very good at his job as well. Oh god, you spawned behind me! Die, go away, Good, goodbye, boom, kaboom. You guys always got tricks up your sleeve. You're the tricky enemy. Oh, here's one. Here's one I didn't even notice before. Uh, Ordinary AWE Stage 4B. We went in and met Polaris. Like a star. She told us we were special. She made us special. It felt like being born. Or reborn. The world fading in for the first time. Familiar, but somehow different. Polaris told us how to turn off the projector. The dung monkeys and the nut mother were coming straight at us. Dylan was crying. I turned it off and they were gone. It was over. I took all the slides and burned them. All of them except hand. <sighs> Extrapolated information. Unconfirmed existence of paranatural entity Polaris. Well, it's confirmed now. There was a guard booth that had a document in it. Right there. Okay. Just retracing my steps a little bit. There's actually a lot of retracing I want to do. Stage 1A. Yeah, this is a critical one. The dump. The first slide was a room with dirty wallpaper and dolls on a shelf. There were lots of dolls. 
Later on, Jesse says, The house was empty. No one lived there. We played in there a lot. It was our secret playhouse. Shortly after the incident, Dylan says, I went to school with Neil. Some kids called him Nosebleed Neil. Note, likely Neil Hosenberg, missing. It was mean. He had asthma. Tom. Note, likely Tom Barlow, also missing. And his gang, Freddy. Note, likely Frederick Bartwell missing. Hugo. No one by this name found in public records. Bullied him. We brought Neil to the dump to play. Unconfirmed existence of additional slide designation, house. We know what we know, but as far as the Bureau goes, there is a lot of missing information. Which only furthers my speculation that uh, it has something to do with this. The piss, I mean. Whoa, that was a fun one. Well, without even realizing it, we now have six jukebox tokens, so... <laughs> We can definitely try those later, but I still think I'm not quite powerful enough to get that done the right way. Wow, we have a ton of things still to do. A dark place, investigate the sector elevator. Oh, there's so, so much. I, I think, I think we're going to put searching for the slide projector on hold a little bit. Langston, you need help with some of these runaways? I could totally help you out with that. Oh, by the way, I realize this white plastic tree is the one that was talked about in this document. I do like that, how, like, occasionally we come across something where we discover the object first and then the story later, and vice versa. That's pretty interesting. Annual evaluation of Dylan Faden, formerly P6, performed by Dr. Carl Formerly P6. The asked here correspond to the fifth iteration of the Gunner's psychological assessment. Are you ready, Dylan? Let's begin, then. In a single word, describe the world around you. Where's Casper? Dr. Darling is out of the building today. He's never out. He didn't want to come, did he? He never visits, not since Roberts. To tell Darling it wasn't my fault. I couldn't control it yet, but I can now. I learned. Will you tell him? In a single word, Describe the world around you. A prison. A cold, empty prison. Not even a poster on the wall. Mm -hmm. What is the next number in the sequence 3, 6, 9, 12, 15? 18. What day is it today? How the hell would I know? It's not like you give me a calendar. You find a rabbit in the woods. It is breathing, but not moving. You cannot see any blood. What do you do? Leave it. Expand on that. It doesn't matter. The rabbit's not real. None of it's real. What day is it today? Do you enjoy asking people questions that can't be answered? Is, is this what gets you up in the morning? What you dreamed of doing as a scared, stupid little girl? Can you describe a dog to me? In Ordinary, we had a friend. Nosebleed Neil. And when it all went crazy, you know what I mean. Nosebleed Neil turned into a dog, or something like a dog. What day is it tomorrow? Fuck off! I don't know! There is no calendar! How can I fucking know? Dylan, calm down. Fuck you! Fuck you and fuck Casper! Hey, hey! hey are you watching this, you old fuck? Did you send a bitch because you're too scared of me? Where is Casper? Security, get a team in here. I need... They never treated him like a human. They treated him as another object of power, essentially, and this is what they got. Seems like he actually tried to help out and they wouldn't meet him halfway. And the, the truth be told, I'm not sure if I would. Okay, we need to look at some of our abilities, seize an additional enemy. That could be nice. We could also get more launch damage. We could always do that. Yeah, yeah. Let's just grab that. I'm thinking I must have accidentally reset this some point. I honestly don't remember. But I know we lost the ability to throw grenades and that screwed us over last time. Uh, we can get a lot of things. We can get a lot of things. And I'm thinking I want one of those things. 
to be a Pierce upgrade because this thing is my new favorite. Well, look, if we come over here to the medical wing, there should be one of these things, the hand share active down here. And we do now have the ability to open this level six. Can we get in there though? Not really. I'm still not sure how to deal with these things. Okay, we weren't able to open this before. Mark Gibson, male, age 28, returned from the astral plane approximately 13 minutes ago. This was his 21st dive. Patient is experiencing migraine-like pain, intense pressure behind the eyes, and partial blindness. He has no recollection of his time in the astral plane and appears severely disoriented. Preliminary examination revealed no immediate cause, so we will be sending patient for x-rays and... What the fuck is that thing? Got it first right out of him. Code Black! Get Marshall! So there's xenomorphs in the astral plane. From the sound of it, brain xenomorphs, which is not a thought that I needed to have. Oh god, what if that's how it spreads? Uh, well, we can open this from the other side. We've already been here. Where's... I'm, I'm looking for a hand share. I see. Here we go. Yep. Here they come. Yep. Well, me and my 75% extra throw damage and even more upgraded thing are going to be helping me out here. Yep. I don't need to be using it on this. There's a there's a resonance over here. I can tell when you guys have the plus in your health bar. Sometimes you guys just have nowhere to run. There is a powerful dude here. This stuff is levitating where it shouldn't be. Yep, there we go. That didn't do what I wanted. What's the deal with that? Are you one of those? I don't know what that is. Have we encountered this yet? That was a big boom. Why, why did that happen? And here, uh, these things, oh, these things are regenerating. You're there, and maybe another one here. Boom. Oh my god, oh! I did not notice the hand amongst the things. Okay, we need to knock you to the ground and try and subdue you. I didn't, I, I, I thought, I didn't realize you would be a literal hand-shaped chair. I, do we, do we have a document on you? Hang on. Uh, yeah, there we go. Hand share procedures. Item must be kept in isolation, removed from other unsecured objects. Under no circumstances is the item to be sat in. A plastic seat shaped like a human hand from the 1960s. The hand's palm forms a chair with the fingers acting as the chair's back. The item affects gravitational forces, attracting and repelling objects near itself with a force of... something. Its fingers have also been observed to change position, though too quickly to be witnessed or filmed. The item may be changing forms rather than moving. The item only displays these effects during full moons. Well, I guess it's a full moon. Sample analysis confirms that it contains human genetic material. Found in a warehouse in Albany, a team of ranger trainees, accompanied by an experienced field agent, were dispatched to investigate local rumors when they encountered the item. They successfully retrieved it. There is a whole lot of yada yada between the start and the end of that story. Now we can upgrade spin, thus making it even better, and this is the first form that we get to level 3. So that's really useful. Now we can give it even more upgrades, but one of these things is here in the Panopticon. I'm not quite sure where. A lot of different things we could take on spin, but I'm thinking damage while low on health, 
It's my go-to, and with a boost that big, it could really get us out of a jam at some point. And this is why I really like the idea of sort of building your character for the situations you think you're going to be in, or your playstyle, as opposed to a simple linear upgrade path. It kind of requires you to predict and adapt and change the way you play depending on which way you go. And that makes it so much more enjoyable and so much more interactive. And actually, if you look at the names themselves, Shatter, Grip, Pierce, Spin, there's actually something interesting about it where, like, they almost seem intuitive rather than, well, like, things you would name a weapon. Like, the kind of thing you would think to call them if no one bothered to tell you what those names are. Kind of sort of reminds me of how the name The Hiss came about. How we just sort of named it in our head and it was so. Ugh. Uh, we just ended up on floor three. Did I know I could do that? I didn't know I could do that. What's here? Uh, well, apparently nothing. Which is bad. Probably really bad. surfboard. There is no normal way to get here, and yet if we're able to just fall and survive the fall in just such a way, we can just have a look at everything that's here. That is just so... Ah, this game is great. Actually, with Levitate, I was able to climb all the way back up this thing with some doing, so... Alright, Levitate opens so many new doors and floors to us. Oop! And it's a good thing, too, because I am not making this platforming. You guys are still around, huh? Well, I think that was the last of you. Well, anyways, as I was trying to say before about, like, the somewhat weirdly intuitive nature of our relationship with the service weapon, I was having a really good conversation last night uh, with, I guess now's as good a time as I need to say it, with my girlfriend Elster, who is also playing this kind of parallel to me. I, I had said something about, like, the service weapon is, like, an extension of ourself in that way. But then she actually had a really great counterpoint, which is that it's really more like we are an extension of the service weapon. Chosen through it by, by the board. We essentially act as a puppet to enact its will. Even if we feel like we're the ones making the decisions, we're always the one being directed. So, we are one and the same, but we might actually be wrong about who the brains are here. That must be one of the missing alternate items. Uh, I suppose. Why did you put the... Why did you put the thing in the other end? You did not let me know it was what? here. How did I get back here? Oh, I get it. It's a red light, green light game. How fun. What if you can't see us? And maybe it's all movement beyond that point. <laughs> well, that's kind of clever. There's a certain humorous nature to some of these objects while not actually negating their horrifying abilities. Oh God, why? Why are you doing this? Why are you doing this to me? Is there going to be another threshold to have to cross through? Man, if that stupid TV hadn't done this, we'd have no problem. Oh, God. Yep. Yep, stop moving, stop moving, stop moving. It's just one horrible boss fight or another in this place, isn't it? I'm going to play this as safe as I can. Nope, get down, get down, get down. Be here all day if I have to. I just have to have patience. Oh, you can run so much farther back. I'm literally right here. And cleanse. Can you imagine the traffic jam if even ignoring you caused everyone to be sent back. Now, what happens to the traffic that rushes in behind them? Eh, maybe somebody should open up a document about that and find out. 
All right, traffic light procedures. The object's effect is subdued by exposure to sunlight. A traffic light with three distinct lights arranged vertically on top of its four sides. From top to bottom, the lights shine red, yellow, and green. A popular children's game is believed to be integral in the manifestation of this item and its effect. So the game creates the item. If an entity approaches the item while its red light is activated, they will be instantaneously relocated a certain distance from the item. Theories that the item is shifting people to a former timeline or parallel universe have been explored and dismissed. Uh, FPC researchers always tend to assume the worst, huh? I suppose this item is fairly benign as far as altered items go. The item was discovered after a streetlight at an intersection near the elementary school began shifting people away from itself after sunset. A local panic brought the case to the attention of the Bureau. The item was contained, and a gas leak was blamed for this confusion in the townspeople's perception. Do not tell those kids. New York City subway. I mean, I think we saw that before, but still, that's... Huh. Huh. Alan Wake 2 knowledge coming through. Uh... Yeah, where do we have to go? There's some unknowns off to the sides of the turntable, so I guess that's where we'll start. Yeah, whatever it is, it has to do with up there. Okay, thank you Reddit for just telling me how to do this, because otherwise I would have spent forever trying to get through areas that just aren't accessible. Hey there. Someone needs help over there. I'm here. What happened to you? I got in a little scrap. Name's Horowitz. I... Oh! Ah! Is he gonna be okay? Don't look at me like that. I'm fine. But Wells is still in there. You gotta get him out. Who's Wells? My squad mate. We were hunting a runaway altered item. We followed it down into the clocks. The clocks? Uh, a threshold. The Bureau sealed it up years back because of all the clocks. We, w we followed the altered item inside, but the way it was acting, we weren't ready. Me and Wells were the only ones to make it to the motel court. He was right behind me, but he never showed up on this side. I'll go find him. But first, you need to get to a medic. Wells is the medic. Please, you gotta get him out of there. I'll be fine, really. Rube can patch me up later. Fine. But I'll be back for you. I damn well hope so. <laughs> Just use the motel cord there. It should get you into the clocks. Sorry. The threshold. Okay, well, let's get to it. But, man, all I'm thinking now is how cool would a Helldivers-like game be where you play as an FPC agent? Here we are again. Every time we come here, it really does feel like re returning to the lair of some wise god we built up a reputation with. And understanding. So what's the deal with the clock? Are you going to finally land somewhere, or are you just going to keep going? Seems like you're just going to keep going. Okay. Oh, wait, no, you stop when I stop. Okay, so we probably have to match you to the one on the desk, right? You're at 435, so we need you to be at 435. Oh, I see. We can start and stop you with space. Oh, it's going to be really difficult to actually get you to land in the right spot. Uh, I mean, close enough, right? I'm hoping this is close enough. Because we're going to have to do all three of these, aren't we? Okay, that one's going to be... 12.15, or just beyond. Yep, 
Is that close enough? I don't know what counts as close enough. This one needs to be 230. So we're going to be waiting a little bit for that. There we go. I think that's that should be us good, right? I'm gonna take that sound to mean I was right. And there's the keys. The music, the music is so taunting, isn't it? To be honest, I can't even remember if it's always playing. Did I see something for just a moment there? Like eyes staring back at me. This Wells guy can't be far. Yeah. To find far in a place like this. Well, we're in the building. And I'm starting to hear stuff. Those must be the clocks he was talking about. Yes, they must. This way to camp. Oh, there's a control point to capture. Alright, well, this is what we do. I honestly was expecting something much more threatening, but hey, the night is still young. Bang. Uh, one thing one thing about using Pierce, it does slow me down. I mean, because a lot of the time, I try to go for, like, big damage against armored enemies, uh, which means I'm not moving and throwing as much as I used to be. Which is not, obviously, the ability's fault. But it's just another example of how the abilities you choose to take change the way you play. I will, I will never not find it cool and horrifying that these people have to mount expeditions to different areas of their own building. Look at all the tarps laid down, can't disturb anything, can't leave anything behind. Are we gonna... Uh, I was gonna say, are we gonna say something? Are you Wells? Your friend asked me to come looking for you. That must be Horowitz. Glad he got out. I stayed back to help the others. Did a shit job of it, clearly. You tried. That's enough. Horowitz needs your help now. How do we get out of here? We should head back through the threshold. We can look for other survivors as we go. We better hurry. Which way? Just follow the blood. Let's go. You sound like you've been around the block a couple of times. And around the block is a long way here. I'm just keeping an eye out for documents, anything we might need. A level 9 clearance. Well, if I hold my card upside down... Hey, can I have your card? Like seriously, I'm the director and I'm starting to feel like chopped What's liver. With the clocks? Threshold effect. This used to be a regular office wing before the threshold manifested. The forces at play in there got a hold of someone's old clock and started duplicating it. Now the office is abandoned and its clocks all the way down. <laughs> the things that cause things to change around here. Yeah, you don't mind if I just watch this, right? I can't hear a word and there's no subtitles. They seem really uncomfortable to be here. Yeah. 
and that was rolling for entirely too long. All I'm hearing though is like just random sounds of like lab work, equipment being moved. There are voices, but they're so faint I cannot hear them at all. There's Dr. Darling with his Newton's cradle. There's, oh my God. Why was there a jump scare in a silent film? Well, that doesn't explain why there's so many of those things around. But it does set a precedent, I suppose. Hang on, let me help you deal with this. We don't want any rockets flinging about. So we're gonna wanna deal with these guys first. All right, you deal with the guards. I'll try and take Rocket Man. Where'd he go? No, seriously, where'd he go? There he is. Bang. Please try not to die by running straight into them. I kinda figured you'd take cover here. I kind of hoped you would take cover here. Oh, there's a big boy. Yep. Bang. And bang. No, you do not. And die. Oh, hey. Just in time to re-gift. Ow. Please tell me you're still alive. Thank you. Oh, good thinking, and you're using the clocks as a ramp. Not exactly good cover, but eh, at least it helps us get elevated. Locked. Think you can find a way around? I thought you had found a way around. So, you came down here for an altered item? The anchor, yeah. Langston said it'd be a simple item retrieval. The power of that thing had. I've never seen anything like it. We read about this thing earlier. The thing was kind of a local celebrity before it was taken into control. Which makes me wonder, given other things we've read about altered items, maybe it didn't like being removed from the spotlight? Oh, I guess I didn't have to go back and listen to you. Uh, ooh, hang on, there's a document here, I'm gonna read it. Postbox supplement, uh, Jasper Postbox. Agents arrived in the town of Jasper Crossing, Arizona after the communications department intercepted multiple phone calls to local authorities regarding frozen people in the streets. Four of the five dispatched agents became paralyzed arriving at the scene. Additional assessment teams were dispatched. Variations of identification formulas were tried with ineffectual results. Agents resorted to using aerial photography to study the positioning of the paralyzed individuals. Soon after, agents discovered the event's epicenter to be the local post office. Unaffected agents cleared the area of all paralyzed civilians, animals, and bureau personnel before beginning to study the item. What do you mean cleared? Agents deemed susceptible to the item were tasked with interviewing and reinforming the public away from the site. The item was soon placed on a transport vehicle manned by unaffected agents. Air travel had been deemed too dangerous given the item's effect. Numerous reports of temporary paralysis were reported by civilians along the truck's route from Arizona to NYC. That's totally nuts. The things they cover up on like a daily basis. Alright, let's open you up. That's O'Neill. Shit. Well, you're about to, and which means there's probably a whole squad's worth of promotions going to be in it for you. Sorry, I'm just trying to look on the bright side. It's more guys. Hang on. If we can get the drop, we can change the odds in our favor. If you guys like to stop and aim, I have the advantage in that regard. Doesn't seem to be... Oops. There doesn't seem to be... Uh, any resonance here. However, we do have a wealth of clocks! 
We are never ever gonna run out of clocks. In fact, the whole thing of this area, it seems, is that it's kind of unbelievable just how many clocks there are. Oh, you're you're a big boy, ow. Which means you have much more time to throw things at me. And now you've got all the time in the world being dead and all. Come on. Die. I'm trying to help you, bud. I'm actually glad they're mostly going for me. That's an altered item up there. That it is. Yep. Wow, that is a big lantern. I did not expect I, I thought it would be just like a little thing that you like hang in a store doorway. Oh well. <laughs> Do you really want to be standing right here? I mean, it says you. There's an entire dead squad around here. Uh, containment procedure. Items should be kept in a locked containment cell. Any prolonged observation should be avoided. The item is a paper lantern known as a choching? The paper is red with elegant black Japanese characters that translate to ramen. Item has an attractive effect that is both physical and psychological. Nearby objects gravitate towards the item with a minor force. More notable is its ability to attract sentient organisms with its rich red color and warm, comforting glow. But the personal log shows us the true extent of what that's like. Alright, bud, we got it. Where to now? I mean, presumably we're heading through some physical way back, right? Please tell me you're going to give us your clearance card at the end of all this. It would solve so many of my issues. Refrigerator supplement. Can you tell us why you left your building that day? I was running out to get eggs. There was that corner store on 30th. That's why I left Michael there on his own. Knew I wouldn't be gone long. He was drawing at the table when I left. Had his crayons out. Happy. The building came down when I was a block away. I ran back. Started digging. City workers found Mikey later beside the fridge. The drawings hadn't come off. Tons of bricks fell on it, and those drawings are still there. How does that happen? You kept the refrigerator after the accident. Why? It still had his drawings. God must have kept them safe for a reason, right? I'd get home from work and stare at them all night. I was in a bad way back then. Why did you sell the fridge with your son's drawings still on it? They'd gotten stuck to it or something. I thought about cutting them off those magnets, but maybe it was better I didn't hold on to them, you know? Gotta move on, everyone says. What's my fridge got to do with the building collapse anyhow? Why does it change from LM to WM afterwards? Like at first, maybe I thought that was like a husband and wife interview, but the other document said just says it was owned by a man. How are we getting through here? More importantly, can you get through here? This whole thing is just so funny to me. Like, in this line of work, sometimes something like this happens where, sure it's mundane, sure it's stupid, but it's definitely, like, an event worthy of quarantine where you just can't use that whole section of the building anymore. I'll need to come deal with that altered item later. If I open the safe room now, Wells could get hurt. I will be back. Uh, hang on, you gotta you gotta take a bathroom break. Speak now or forever hold your pee. You following? I gotta be honest, I'm actually really impressed with your pathfinding over these mountains of clocks. And they're just filling up all the time. Will this eventually, like, completely overtake the oldest house? Horowitz ordered a retreat. We got out, but this will wait for us. I took Horowitz to the motel court and went back for the others. That was brave of you. So you never actually intended to follow. It's my job. Well, we could definitely, definitely use more medics. Maybe with Marshall, or better yet, back at Executive? There's documents there. We need to claim this. A 
Wasn't that cool how I do that? Uh, work chart, plane parts. Okay, Mr. Dead Dog, uh, we're seeing this rivalry again. What do you think of this? You know that airplane we brought in? Like, the actual, proper airplane? Guess who they made catalog every individual piece of that plane to be examined for suspected altered status? I had to count every bolt, nut, and piece of non-connected metal. And that's just on the exterior of the thing. Do you know how many pieces of hardware it takes to make an airplane? I do! I do! <laughs> that is so funny. Repeat times a million. I mean, we even heard that most of the things they investigate turn out to be nothing. In a case like this, good lord. Ah, oh, we're right here over the turntable. Goodbye. A lot of low-level enemies up here. Hopefully they don't prove to be too much trouble. I hear something magical sounding behind me. Hopefully that's just the bodies evaporating. I really need you to hang back for this moment. Okay. Good job hanging back. Oh, what a dark and mysterious hallway. I kind of miss a minute ago when there were those red glowing lights illuminating the whole thing. It gives a real sense of depth. But actually, if that was over the turntable, hey, that's probably, that's probably how I get to that other thing, no. Die. And die. Yeah, we're actually exactly where we need to be. Can you get that door for me? Actually, I need you to. Was half expecting that to not work at the last second. Is on the other side of logistics. Horowitz should still be there. You still good? I'm actually surprised. Uh, but where's... Oh, God, did you lose pathfinding? Where's your buddy? Uh, why is this happening now? Where'd he go? Where... Where are you? You were just right here. Alright, I tracked it, and you're just... here? Uh... Let's go. We, we couldn't just... you couldn't just follow me to him? Oh, this was the trigger that changes his status from alive to dead, isn't it? Okay. Uh, you let me get my hopes Hold up. On. Something's wrong with him. Here we Shit. are, yep. Oh, wait, you're a boss? God, okay, hang on. I wasn't really expecting that. Was not prepared. Hang on, let me change gears. Ugh. There's a gear for you. Bonk and bonk. Can't hurt my buddy if you keep getting bonk. Splunk and bonk. Just keep splunking and bonking. When one charges, the other goes. Oh, hey, wait, that's actually a really good strategy to apply to the whole game in general, isn't it? Yep. Smack and funk. Yeah, I mean you're a really crappy medic. I should talk to Wells. Make sure he's okay. I'm sorry about your friend. Thanks. And thanks for coming to get me. Horowitz's HRA must have been damaged in the threshold. Guy never put himself first. At least the anchor altered item is still locked away down in the clocks. I hope it rots down there. That altered item needs to be dealt with before it hurts anyone else. I should go back down and contain it. Head to the executive sector, Wells. They could use a medic. Thank you, Director. I'll go see what good I can do there. Well, at least we did some kind of good with that. We are getting so many missions. But we do have to go back and deal with that item. 
All right, what does this thing want? The one with the altered item inside. Oh, what a bad idea this must be. Well, better read. Sealed threshold account. Threshold with effect something manifested in the containment sector in the middle of something department. Simultaneously numerous something appeared in the area, injuring and killing many. After rescue operations were completed, rangers were sent in to discover the threshold's epicenter. The sheer amount of clocks, I assume, made the expedition impossible. The area was sealed off after removing the clocks proved an impossible task. Okay, so it's uncensored here. The department was relocated and the area abandoned. Researchers theorized the threshold introduced unstable matter to our dimension, which, which adopted the form of the clock, which introduced more... Uh, it's a whole redacted mess. This game is very hard to read. Have I mentioned that? Like, out right. loud? More clocks. Uh, yep. 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 We're starting to see where the breakdown lies. There's the anchor. Now all we have to do is find a way to get at it. Well, it's physical. We learned that. Although, I don't think anything in here will be of much use against it. Uh, we've got to levitate across this whole thing. Hope it holds up. Hope we don't need too many upgrades. Yeah. Are you the original? The Clock Prime, perhaps? Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go! Yep! Oh, you're a whole boss and a half. I have no idea how I'm meant to actually deal with you! The last thing I need is more clocks. You're the anchor that was described in a document earlier. I had almost forgotten about you. Okay, but you are very sensitive to being hit. We just have to... We just have to wait for our opportunity. Oh, I see. We need to be on the right side at the right time. Can we predict when you'll be facing where? It spits you back out over here. Oh no, there's one everywhere. Boom! Okay, I think we've got this. Uh, unless stuff like this starts happening. Let's just make sure we don't throw the wrong one by mistake. Ow. Oh wait, not ow, just felt a lot like ow! Yeah, well, we lost that one. Your ow. You really need to stop doing what you're doing. Thank you. <laughs> Bang. Okay, it, it really is just a matter of, like, getting lucky, I think. I, I haven't been able to tell if we can predict where you're going to open up. Oh, all I know is that stuff like that keeps happening. Oh, okay, there's a there's a specific lock-on that actually comes up, and we have to hit that, which is actually, it's not the core, it's like somewhere in front of it, which is annoying and odd. You guys are going to be a much bigger problem. Like, it's the fact that it's making you look in like eight different directions at once that's going to cause me issues. Smack. Okay, you're almost dead. We really just, we gotta keep moving and strafing. That's all we can do. Less of you, please. And if we can get a good angle, see, uh, it seems really inconsistent when the lock-on will actually show up. We only, we only need one more good hit. That's all we need. Nope. There we go, and you're done. Uh, can we can we take a moment to heal a little bit? 
We're not going down into that, are we? It's... Okay, good. It landed itself. Come on, you. Yeah, they were in way over their heads. I don't know how they managed to contain it. You always manage to mirror my thoughts exactly, don't you? But this is done now, and I'm happy for it. Question is, uh, what do we learn? Black rock paneling successfully presents manifestation of the spear. A Trotman-style anchor made of iron with a wooden stock. Surface is rusted in places, weighs 3,789 pounds. The item generates a persistent blank spear the purpose of which is currently unknown. This spear is always generated at a precise point in relation to the item, specifically something horizontal feet and something vertical feet from probably the base of the anchor. April 25th, 1983. Ranger First Class was dropped into the spear wearing a dive suit with dedicated oxygen line. After 10 minutes and 13 seconds inside the spear, the oxygen's line was cut at the spear's border by an unseen force. All agents in the room during something's entry into the spear experienced vomiting, vertigo, and loss of fingernails within an hour of one another. The ranger has been declared MIA, presumed dead. And years later, clocks, clocks, clocks. Funny how these things work out. Hello, can I... I don't know how I'm going to get at you. There is a box up there, though. Knock, knock, who's there? Launch damage. <laughs> which is now 100% upgraded, so we can't rely on that getting better anymore. And why not? Let's also grab more Levitate. And that's probably going to be about all we can do for now. Wow, I didn't expect it to be right there when I spawned in. Yeah, we've had to come back to Executive because this is where we find the final, the final item. Guys, I really don't have time for this. Yep. Oh, I don't have time for rangers especially. Okay, you guys need to die. Don't want any rockets coming at me while I'm trying to do this. This thing is just crazy good, even at distance now. Die. And one more. Now that's dealt with. I need to know where it's gonna end up. Uh, how, how do I do such a thing? Do I have a document explaining how this works exactly? Or do I just have to chase it down every single time? There we go. Yeah, so if I just wait right here, like, presumably you'll always be back eventually, right? I I've filled that bar several times, and you didn't want to stop. Ah, oh, great, there's more. I'm not actually sure if I've read about these, so I cannot wait to figure out what your deal is. The question is, where am I going? Well, there's a document here. Dead Presidents. To whom it may concern, I'm being contacted by the past presidents of the United States of America. They appear as spirit guides, giving me their wisdom. John Adams keeps saying I need to fix America, but I can't really understand him. They all have a lot of opinions. People tell me I'm imagining it, but Theodore Roosevelt showed me how to fix my lawnmower, and I don't know a thing about lawnmowers. Explain that. I have great dead men telling me about the past and the present. If you'd like to use my abilities to help run the government, please let me know. I know the White House could use me. Yours in earnest, James Bartholomew. What if in the end, it turns out that he has to become the new director and a mistake has been made? Oh wow, there's whole like upper levels that we can access and that is why, okay. God, that's annoying. All right, smoking ban, but cool that we can come up here. Dear elected official, Thanks to the recent smoking ban in my state, I am happy to inform you I will not be voting for you in the next election. 
As everyone knows, smoking is being banned because the smoke is toxic to the aliens that the government sold our planet to in a secret deal. If humans keep smoking, the aliens won't be able to live on Earth. Our air would be poison to them. If you government traitors can't stop people from smoking, then you won't get your millions of dollars from the aliens. I have a website. People know what's going on. We're going to keep smoking no matter what. This is a national emergency. Politicians are handing the planet over to alien overlords. We won't let you. We will resist. I will smoke forever. Signed, a proud smoker, rebel, and patriot. I can predict with 100% accuracy whether this guy wore a mask during COVID. Yes, there we go. So, if that's a spot you can be at, then we just need to wait for you to return, right? There we are. There we are. And I'm guessing it's much higher up, right? I mean, it, it is really cool, but so many of these areas are different things to us once we unlock abilities. It's not just unlocking doors behind clearances, it's actually the way we're able to utilize the environment. I mean, it's almost hard to believe how weak we were in the early stages of this game. I mean, at first we were literally unarmed, but after that we were only armed, like with a pistol. Pinstripe world. I'm a plaid suit in a pinstripe world. A plaid suit in a pinstripe world. The same sentence repeated over and over, but one of them, just one, is redacted. Huh. A lot of these make you think, and sometimes they don't have to tell you literally anything to do so. There's something over there. Hang on. Yep. Cat clock. My clock is shaped like a cat, and its eyes move, and I think it's angry, but I keep apologizing, and it won't stop. But I said I'm sorry, 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 but it won't leave me alone, and I don't know what it wants, and I can't keep apologizing. Do you see it now? To It told me everyone is here, and I need to be careful so they don't see me writing this letter. It wants me to stay with it, with my eyes on its eyes, and moving very fast, but I can't keep going, and I worry they'll forget about me, so I need to write you because I can't keep going about the cat, well, because of its eyes. And the rest is redacted. Why do parts of dead letters get redacted? Unless there really is something to it. Yeah, but those things really are pretty creepy. My grandma had one. There you are. So we can wait for you just right there. Our whereabouts. Hey, you have questions and the prophets have your answer. If you're truly intrigued, watch the time. We've lost about 45 days in the past four years. The shortening of days. This is why the Vatican is a sundial and also simultaneously a keyhole. Another thing while I'm here is if you want the secret to everything, compare plasma next to brain cells. The sun and moon are composed of plasma, simply light, not planets. After this is cemented in your psyche, ponder the current whereabouts of where you, I, and humanity reside. Cheers. You know, that's a whole lot of lunacy, but that last bit about contemplating where we reside, that's actually not too far off base from what we actually know to be true. That was actually a fairly lucky grab there, wasn't it? But we've got all Langston's stuff. And I am real exhausted. And we're basically Ghostbusters at this point. Just because I couldn't finish the series without finally getting this thing, and this episode has been all about just tying up side loose ends. Somehow we have more personal mods than we're even able to carry, and weapon mods, we have more stuff than we're able to carry. So I don't really fully understand how that works. Where's that post-it room? I never did actually read this document that's in here. I was so busy to end that other episode. <laughs> Sticky note complaint. To whom it may concern, 
In case you're not aware, something caused a sticky note in my office to duplicate. My office is unusable now. I'll be working from home until this is resolved. You can reach me on my cell or home phone. That is hilarious. It's actually kind of fitting that I came back and read this after the clock department. We do have a new outfit. And anytime I get one, I always want to try it at least once. Candidate P7. The same stuff Dylan was in. I mean, it looks really comfy. Now, if we come all the way back down here, I believe there was a door that I was not able to open before. Where was that? Right across here. Hello. Uh, noted. Excuse me, are you lost? Do you normally barge into people's private workspaces? She clearly doesn't know who she's talking to. Shouldn't you be in a safe room? Why? Because of those his things the Rangers keep going on about. Haven't you people sorted that out yet? The situation Excuse me? Down here could spell doom for the bureau. You mean this mold? Correct. Perhaps you could help me. I require samples of various mold strains, and the mold has made the environment far too dangerous for me to fetch them myself. Really? Mold samples? I thought this could spell doom. It could, and it will, whoever you are. The mold is spreading. We need to find the source before it spreads too far. Any samples will do that? No. Samples of five unique strains, when blended properly, will allow you to travel deeper into the pit where I've pinpointed the approximate location of the source of the mold. Okay. So what do these samples look like? Similar to the one on my table there. I've made a list of the samples I need here. You'll find them throughout the threshold. I'll take a look. My name's Jesse, by the way. I'm sure it is. You're literally the first person that hasn't immediately known who we are. You're an anomaly yourself, you know that? Have you worked with Emily Pope? Our paths have crossed. Darling arranged for us to have a coffee. A meeting of the minds, he called it. She's talented. I can certainly see her doing well here. I feel like there's a but coming. But she's drunk a bit too much of the Bureau's proverbial Kool-Aid. She shouldn't be afraid to forge ahead on her own. Science is skepticism. Everything must be questioned before the truth can emerge. And what about Darling? So, is Darling your boss? If you insist on clinging to such outdated hierarchies, then... Yes. However, I would argue that our fields are too dissimilar for one to manage the other. Of course, Darling would much prefer to find his own miracle solution to the Bureau's fungal frustrations. He always needs to be the hero. So tell me again how you came to work at the Bureau? Well, like I said, I was brought in as a special advisor. A temporary position, you see. Although that's not the whole truth. I was employed here for a time, straight out of university. After a decade of admittedly fascinating work in threshold research and regulation, I began to chafe under the bureaucracy. I needed a change. Not that academia was so different. And then the mold happened. About four months ago, yes. Since my departure from the Bureau, they hadn't been able to find my equal in threshold analysis. Darling and I had kept in touch over the years, meeting at conferences and the like. He called me, and I booked a flight. I've never been able to say no to a man with a dangerous alien biosphere. <laughs> I had to leave my post in the middle of term, but so be it. So she's a professor. 
That explains a lot. It sure does. Alright, well, let's get to... Let's get to the point, then. How do I deal with these things? The mold seems to be having some weird effects on things. Indeed. Even people are susceptible. The fungus grows rapidly within the chest cavity, killing the host. Luckily, one must ingest the stalks to become infected. Don't eat the mold. Okay. We've always cremated the infected bodies after autopsy, but I believe there may be another stage of maturity. I think I've already a fought blooming, it. If you will. I never thought the word blooming would sound so horrible. You know this is in the Panopticon too, right? In Thanks medical? For the information. My pleasure. Uh, I'm really hoping this isn't like DLC stuff that I'm wandering into. Also, you know, I'm starting to realize this episode is going to be kind of all over the place. When you start doing the side missions and ignoring the main story, so you really start to here. feel like a video so game protagonist. I wonder how this mold tastes. Huh, so it actually... Something about it actually makes you want to consume it. Get down there, you. So those are going to be our primary weapons. This is the room we cleared out in the beginning stages. Ah, there's one of our things. Found one. This one. That was D. Uh, Any way we can spot these things from a greater distance? Anything in the camp? Hmm, wait. Did we? We did not see back here earlier. Uh, which is good, because there's one right here. That's A. Okay, so the the letter has nothing to do with how deep in this is. That was really weird, just seeing the shadow of that thing dance around the corner. I thought there was some large creature hiding just out of sight. I'm not actually sure if one could count furniture as a creature. That's probably a question that we should ask Underhill. That seems like it would be worth her time. Or, let me rephrase that. It sounds like it would be of equal value to her time. Uh, here we go. This is the one we found earlier. They were always here. Only two more. There should be one growing around the pit here somewhere. I'm just going. I'm just going to assume this is what we call the pit. Uh, but getting near it, eh, close enough. Wow, it actually does do damage to us. Yeah, these things are popping off all over. Okay, so we need to find the toilets. Yep, oh, yep. There's the sign for the restrooms. That's so weird that they have a tendency to grow near toilets. Uh, and this is nothing if not a potty infested place. This looks like a good one. Uh, yeah, sometimes you pick a real winners out of there, huh? That's all five samples. I should get these back to Underhill. Got your stuff. You look like a woman with mold for me. I found all five. But I kind of wanted to eat them. The mold has that effect on some people. Likely due to the fact it's not actually mold, or even of this dimension. I suspect it is the result of two incompatible molecular structures, one dominant, coming into contact. I call it mold, or fungus, because it's closer in appearance and behavior than anything else we know. Except perhaps bacteria. She reminds me of my old biology teacher. Did you happen to meet any more members of my ranger detail? I didn't see any rangers. Just walking mold people. Unless... Yes. If you found mold people, you found my rangers. I refer to the creatures as hosts. They, like other unwary agents, succumbed to the appetite. But that's nothing for you to worry about. And the apparently nothing I'm for you to worry about either. Samples ...will make the lower level perfectly safe to traverse. It has the added benefit of immunizing you against the pit's toxic spores. I feel like I should ask to see your credentials. Oh, wait. There. Does this mean we'll be able to get to some of those inaccessible areas? Just this pill 
Then go and find the source of the mold. Only there can we begin to understand how to stop it. Take a mystery pill because a rude lady in a hazmat suit tells you to. Great idea, Jesse. Ugh. Honestly, did you want me to wrap it in cheese? Not the taste, the smell. It stinks in here now. Good. That means the pill is working. The worse it smells, the safer you'll be. Now go. Find the source. Great. Thanks for the information. Uh, I mean, I, I was worried I was stumbling into like DLC stuff or something, but if that really does allow me to get through some of those like mold infested rooms that we couldn't enter before, this is actually a game changer for exploration. Science is sometimes with its ups and downs. So, you want to know how my mold research is getting on, Casper? Here it is. Microscopic organisms similar in appearance to something construct the architecture of the mold. I don't understand if they are the original disseminators of the mold or are bitten by some fungal infection. The mold is the most prolific and durable organism I've ever seen. I theorize there's a mold source located somewhere on our th side of the threshold, rooted here to accelerate growth in our dimension. I refer to this yet unknown source as Mold 1. The mold produces an enticing aroma to encourage human consumption of itself. It propagates in the chest cavity and quickly subsumes the entire body, seizing control of motor functions. This behavior was not observed when I first arrived, which means the mold is adapted to our presence. Targeting our biological imperatives is a way to spread. It is a truly ingenious little thing. You... The same attitude that showed how little you cared about your rangers is present here as well. Threshold Utility Counter Essay Dr. Darling's recently penned essay titled Something contains some glaring omissions that I feel I must shine a light on. Firstly, the entire premise of the essay is that the quarry threshold is beneficial to the Bureau, while the mold is actively hostile, to use his words. We cannot determine the worth of these dimensions and their life forms using bureaucratic definitions. Secondly, the mold is much more beneficial than some rock. If the something creating the mold were reconfigured in their purpose, the structures they could build would rival the greatest skyscrapers. The mold's resistance to various strains of disease we've attempted to introduce could be derived into something. Yes, admittedly, this application is more difficult than picking up a rock and gluing it to a wall, but I pause to wonder when the Bureau lost its eagerness for a challenge. Uh, probably also had his desire to not kill people. Why not return when you have something important? Keep it short, please. I hope you die soon. Hang on, I had another document. We did also have the letters procedures. Uh, black rock paneling suppresses the item's effect. A stack of four envelopes, each containing a single page of paper. All four letters are illegible due to extreme water damage. The envelopes, curiously, do not show any sign of such damage, and are covered in messages of love. The items are able to move short distances at a pace of less than something, and always in a something direction. This is the first altered item to have multiple separate parts, a fact previously believed to be an impossibility. A proposal to take the item outside the oldest house and follow their movement due to its final destination is under consideration. The item was found in the Dead Letter Archives, where the herd activist found it attempting to escape a file cabinet. She reports having no record of the items in her archive. This must be the pit Underhill was talking about. We've met. And it no longer damages us. Yep. We really can't be dealing with you guys right now, and you can still... You can actually tank a fair punch. What's this? Ramsey, Ranger Captain, Note 7.25. Underhill sent us down this weird-ass threshold looking for whatever's making all these vegetables sprout. I will say this, uh, it smells delicious. I think we just found you. 
I just think it's so cool that just about any single one of the things we encounter in this could really carry its own game. What's up here? Oh, another document. Exploration is rewarded as usual. Get well, Balloon. Oh, we saw that in the Panopticon. The item was used in the children's ward of a local hospital. Witnesses do not recall where the balloon came from. Therapy dogs, part of a program meant to comfort sick children, were noticeably attracted to the item. They reportedly jumped at the item, licking it when they could. The children claim the dogs began walking through the halls of the hospital at night, howling in a low pitch. One child described the sound as singing. A few days later, the dogs were all discovered dead, a dark substance leaking from their something. Hospital staff called the local authorities, who called the CDC. Bureau agents intercepted this call and arrived at the scene within hours. The item was taken for evaluation, along with the remains of the dogs. And in that report, we don't even learn what exactly was happening. Only the barest observations. Right. Oh god. The further I go, the worse it smells. Not enough to kill you. And the fact that we do have the ability to possess you is somewhat strange. I mean, whatever it is we're seizing, I guess that part of it is still there within you. It does do most of the damage, so two hits from this and waiting to charge will at least get you out of our hair. Let's not get too close! A headshot from close range was good enough for you. Pierce aimed fire boost. Uh, let's see how good that is. We got 28 and 28. That's a 36% boost, so that brings our total to 46, 86, 82%. That's a big increase. Bunch more you guys afoot. Are we ready to deal with it? I'd like to think yes. More of you, but you don't seem to be responding to us. Can you help us seek out nearby guys? Uh, yeah, I was. Oh, up, 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 up. I was thinking if they were close, we would have to be able to find them. Hey, you guys scared the bejeebers out of me. Oh, a control point. And there we go. Oh, we got an achievement for cleansing 25 of the things. Sounds like you were starting to lose it yourself. Oh wait, wow. Huh, actually the presence of these mannequins actually gives us a hint at what this used to be. This used to be one of those containment cells. Like some of the ones we saw upstairs. That is so cool, totally overtaken. Is that but the, the clues are there. It's Never mind. Not pretty at all. Extremely ugly, in fact. Die. Mold one. We meet at last. That didn't do much. 
Okay, I'm assuming we have to hit that. You guys are bad. Okay, a charge shot to the middle of you there. That's gonna be our ticket. Boom. Provided we actually hit. But it's giving us a lot to think about, so we gotta keep moving and strafing, moving and strafing. You guys are fast. Come on now. We can do this. Like I said, moving and strafing. Ow, 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 move, move, move. We don't really have much in the way of ways to heal. But neither do you. Ow! Come on now. Open up! What just killed me?! What just killed me?! And with this, you have to think in like six different directions at once. There you go. And remember, there is no way to heal during all this, because there's no regular enemies. Which I'm actually grateful for. We really have to keep strafing and dodging. And be aware of when these things are getting ready to pounce! But everything is just so fast and takes so much health. There we... You died? You, your thing wasn't even open. I need to stop being surprised by all the weird shit in this place. You really do. Want to take a bite? Oh, there's another control point over here. Why I would ever want to fast travel to it again is beyond me. But maybe it's just a way for me to get out. The incredible thing is that you guys actually managed to make it all the way down here. I mean, how? Yeah, I killed your stupid plant. And you're not sprouting mold from your eyes. I take it that means my pill worked. Now tell me everything. Did you just respond to me directly? You did, didn't you? I found a big angry plant. Like, gigantic. I killed it. You killed it? You found the source and you killed it! I could have learned so much from a live specimen! Her concern is touching. Really. It's too much. Here, I brought you a sample. A piece of the innermost mold! You're not such a lost cause after all. Strange. So different, even superficially. Another stage of growth, perhaps. Please, no more stages. You'll be pleased to know that cutting down the creature at the source has already resulted in a notable cessation of the mold's rapid growth. You've bought me time for further study. So what now? I'm glad you asked. While you were busy in the pit, a number of mold hosts were sighted beyond the threshold. They managed to sneak out without the rangers noticing. There's a reason. I didn't send Steve and Andy to find the mold source with the others. These vagrant hosts must be eradicated as soon as possible. The mold can still be spread by their overgrown bodies. Like in medical? Any idea where they went? The hosts I've observed are not a sprightly bunch. Here are the reports I've received. They'll help you find them. I'll go take care of them. Good. And do be quick about it. There's a nice way to say that. Yeah, my Thanks nice way is do it yourself. My pleasure. Note to self, request look. I mean, we've learned a lot, but the most important thing in this part that we've gained is the ability to traverse into those previously inaccessible areas. I do think you're missing out on a lot of this game by not doing the side stuff, but man, sometimes it can be a little overwhelming, so it was nice to kind of pull over and kind of cut down on our backlog a little bit. Well, there's still plenty to do. Oh, I also forgot about Langston. I found all those missing altered items. All of them? Wow, you have a gift, ma'am. But those weren't all of the altered items missing from the panel. Oh my god. The hiss must be making them restless. We've had several more containment breaches. Oh my god. How many of these things did he lose? How many? Just a couple. Should be no problem for you. I really appreciate your help. Really, just super. Wow.
Well, this is all stuff. Oh god, the rubber duck is one of them. That's going to have to wait until next time. I'll see you later, Langston. Until then, if you like this video, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more creepy and comfy content. If you have any ideas for other videos you think I should do, the best place to suggest that will be at the Discord, which I will link in the description. If you want to try this game out for yourself, that link will also be in the description. And as always, I will see you in the next one. I do want to do this side objective, though, because I actually think I can do this one.